be using fast steel, which is, I, I got it, uh, uh, ah, where is it, Home Depot in Bozeman. It uh, has a working time of about three and a half minutes once you've uh, mixed the, the uh, AB parts together. And it comes in one stick with the AB parts in the stick. And you just cut off whatever you need and then knead it in your fingers until it's completely blended. And then it's, it hardens within just minutes into a steel or a metal type of uh, putty. Um, and this one raised a few eyebrows at the grocery store this morning when I went in and bought some nail polish remover because everybody knows I, I'm a single guy. And what the heck am I doing with nail polish remover? Well, it's to clean the brass tubing that I'm also going to be using of the fast steel because uh, you don't want any uh, nail polish remover on the uh, steel itself or the uh, brass itself. Um, so this is really good at cleaning off that. Um, got a little uh, cut that I've cut down and uh, when you're using fast steel you need to use water with your fingers because this stuff will stick to your fingers. It gets a very sticky uh, putty. So I put a little water in the bottom of a plastic cup that I cut down just for that reason. Alright, I'm a bit more organized than I normally am when I do an armature. And um, I'm going to try a different method of doing armatures that I've never done before. Um, in fact, got just a couple more things I need to get. I'm going to be uh, making this armature using uh, the putty and using these brass tubes and this 8 inch copper tubing. Now, about a week ago I want, looked at a set of discs, there's a five of them I think all together, uh, by a, a sculptor by the name of John Brown. And he's produced five discs that uh, show everything from uh, armature making clear up to mold making. And the gentleman is a lot younger than I am, and a lot, a lot more talented. I was given a different idea on how to sculpt uh, or make an armature, and so that's what I'm going to attempt to do. And I'm uh, just double checking. Yeah, see, I I knew that the head measurement on the uh, clay figure that I made for this horse before, which I finally worked out the the proportions to. Uh, these are the proportions I want, and that's the head measurement I want right there. And so I'm going to have to redraw these drawings here, which is no big deal. I'll just go ahead and do that. And this will be this head measurement, which I took off that clay. And I mark it. That's one, two, three, and four. Now, this is where the hips would be. And what I want to do is make it I know, about one head width wide for the uh, legs. And then that, I, I went up about, oh, maybe just a little over a third of a head back from the uh, fourth uh, mark. Or let's see, this is one, two fourth mark and then uh, I go down two head measurements to the knee then two head measurements to the bottom of the foot and that makes the uh, figure about seven and a half heads tall and that's the ideal it was set down pretty much by the Greeks uh, thousands of years ago now that's a head measurement there, from the top of the head to the bottom of the chin. And then for the uh, shoulder, you locate that half way down from that head measurement to there. And cut across there. Now, on a male, the shoulders ideally are 
two heads wide. On a female, they're one and a half heads wide. Now I know there are females that have shoulders rather wide. But for this purpose, I think I'm just going to stick with this. Now, one and a half heads down is the bottom of the rib cage. Let me just go ahead and draw in the rib cage. And the elbow, if you, if you check on yourself, you'll find that your elbow falls almost exactly right at the bottom of the rib cage. So go one and a half heads down. That's the, the elbow right there. And then uh, ideally to the wrist, you go another head to there. And that takes you to the uh, wrist. And that should put you right even with the groin, which is right there. Uh, see, right here would be the belly button on a, on a male. Um, and then the uh, nipples of the male would be about right there. One head length down from the chin. Yeah, the nipples. Now, woman's is a little bit different. And uh, to the end of the finger is about one head length, or the index finger would come to about mid thigh. All right.